Okay viewers, we're down here, one of our test beds, down here in the Golden Triangle, very highly mineralized ground. We've got a 20 cent coin, which has been buried there for two to three years at 24 inches. We do a comparison between the 7,000 and the 5,000. Unfair, unfair uh, comparison. Um, but if you've got a coil that you're generally using, Young Mike's just, just picking it up there. Um, trying a few different other settings. But if you've got a coil that on the 5000 that you generally use every day, um, I, I, I feel at this stage you could probably do as good, if not better on deeper targets than a 7000. Um, so we just do a bit of a comparison using the 7000 now. And there's a bit of a difference between Young Mike's coil, uh, Mike, Young Mike's detector and uh, Mike 54's detector too. So on same settings, the big, not a big difference, but there is a, a, a bit of a difference. Picking it up better while you got that on. In normal, general. General. General ground, normal ground, and the general. That's picking up quite easily. That'll pull you up. There's a lot of ground noise here, and that's why we, a few years ago we picked this particular spot because of the mineralization in the soil, in the ground. Deeper setting. Deeper setting. Picking up a lot more ground noise with it. Picking up. Picking up a lot more ground noise, but it's definitely pinging that one a lot louder, isn't it? They'll definitely pick you up, not stop, pull you up. Yep. Alright. Going high yield. High yield. High yield. More sense to the ground again. This is Mike 54's detector. Picking it up better than yours, isn't it? Auto, auto tracking, I think. Auto tracking, yep. Put a manual now. Manual tracking. Not 
too bad in high yield. Is no, it? it's pretty good. You wouldn't think so, though. We will get the five hours in the minute and let you uh, listen to that. I'll, I'll be, I'll be done trying two different settings. One will be fine gold and one will be um, normal. Um, I won't be dumbing the machine down in normal. So normally you would um, turn down the gain and uh, and that. Um, in normal, but anyway, we'll give it a go. I'm just going to hand over the camera to young Mike. There you go, pal. I am using a booster too, so that's. I don't know if that's different. I'll start off in. Uh, I'm using the DTEC uh, 18 by 12 as well. Completely uh, different scenario. This is fine timings. Hey, fine gold, is it? Fine gold, yep. Depending on how you're detecting, that would pull you up. If you go fast, it won't pull you up. If you if you go nice and slow, like I always do, I'd investigate that. It's not very loud compared to the 7000. I'll try it in uh, normal now. See, it picks up all lots of ground noise. I should dumb the machine down. But this is over the 20 cent coin at 24 inches. The ground very noisy. Should turn the gain and stabilizer down. Two inches off the deck, it's still picking up nice and clear. Four inches off the deck, making it 28 inches. Just picks it up. Yeah. Actually do bigger cores do run better in hot ground above the ground, off the ground. So what I'm saying is if you've got a coil that you're generally using and in normal timings with a 5000 you could possibly do just as good, yep. not saying better, but I'm just saying just as good as a 7000. Yep. At this stage is it worth the $10,000 expense? I'd say no. <laughs> no. Make up your own mind. Not very fair comparison, but we're just talking general. Yeah. Anyway, that's Hobo's Gold.
and or a mic <laughs> and uh, we'll catch you on YouTube. <laughs> Cheers. Pull out out of the container mate. We're doing a comparison now on gold. And this is a very difficult gold nugget apparently love coils you gotta basically be rubbing the coil on it on this piece of gold this because one. it's something it just doesn't pick up that well must be with the ironstone content in it i don't know but anyway we'll do a comparison waving it over the coil currently i've got my 5000 set in fine timings uh, fine gold <laughs> yep so uh, young mike's gonna wave it over the coil we're not going to go to normal on this one settings because it just doesn't really pick it up. Just picks it up at 60 mil, 70 mil. Just picks it up. Is all to get it really screaming is verse. You got to be almost touching that. All right, and what we're going to do now is we're going to turn this machine off. We're going to turn on the 7000 and do the same test. This will, this will confuse you. That's not dumbed down either. That's, that's not dumbed down. Cranked up. That's cranked up. We're going to turn on the 7000 now. Takes a bit. <laughs> Air test that's picking it up at eight to ten inches. Compared to the 5,000 on fine timings, this is on high yield. You've got the 7,000 on, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. High yield, I think. <clears throat> yep. 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 Yeah, in the general. High yield's better, isn't it? About the same height, probably not quite as sharp. Yeah. But there's a big difference. Yeah. So basically, you gotta you gotta make a decision buying these detectors. Do you want a detector that's gonna find you lots of gold? And I reckon seven thousand will yeah. find you lots of gold. Yeah, we're going extra deep. Extra it's deep. To, supposed to ignore small targets. Extra deep. Just picks it up there. Basically, the same height as the seven thousand, uh, as the five thousand. Yep. On fine gold. Yes, we've got to be touching the coil now and get it. So, uh, having said that, it's up to you guys where you want a detector that's going to find you lots of gold. Um, seven thousand will find you lots of gold. The 5,000 will find you lots of gold too. But on depth, the 5,000, depending on coils and whether you're running in normal, will find you deep targets. So after this, I'm just as confused as everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> what can we say? I think I'd rather find more gold, wouldn't you? Yep. So be therefore I'd be leaning towards the 7,000. Yep. Okay, leave it up to you guys to make a decision. 
we're not biased in any way. We're not associated with my lab, even though we wouldn't mind being, but <laughs> get a free detector now and then. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching Hobo's Gold. Cheers.